Oh, we're here, brother. You don't have one? No, I thought you needed it. Oh, shit. Get in the arsenal. The boys are back in town. Brace the game. Brace the game. Strong. I'm such a bad documentarian because I'm short, so I have to do this. Tomorrow. We're coming for you. Coming for you, buddy. Sam, you ready to go tomorrow? What's up? I said, are you ready to go? I'm trying to vlog. Huh? I said, <laughs> I said are you ready to go tomorrow? I'm trying to vlog. Yeah, bro. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I thought that was like a legitimate question. Like, no, I was like, you ready to go? Yeah, duh. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Please come back, Sam. I want to die. What's that first song gonna be, Sam? I don't know. Uh, uh, probably Kanye or Drake, I would say. I would guess Kanye or Drake as well. I would say that's probably logical. I gotta connect anyway. At least we're thinking. Josh and I put this playlist together in about two days. There's like 515 songs on it. That's the actual Probably one. around 28 hours of music. Shuffle play. Oh, sick. I love this song. Oh, it's okay. Nice. Ooh. This is this. This, this is, is not this song. You know what it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm an idiot. This is the original. Yeah, brother. Let's go! Ready, Harry? Yeah! Oh, my God. Hope this fucking guy doesn't hit me. Hey, all right. He's a maniac. He's fucking maniac. Astronauts ready for takeoff. Ready for takeoff. Lodging. Yeah. Oh God! It scared the shit out of me. Good. <laughs> Welcome aboard. So this is Plum Island right here at the Government Research
Oh, good morning. Checking out some yachts. Ooh. Ooh yacht. This thing is freaking beautiful. It's humongous. You want an onboard light? I have one. I can't get it on board. Or I have like a full trunk of lights. <laughs> I do. Actually, right now, that'd be pretty sweet. Hey, there we go. Working on the documentary. Mara's finally here, dumbass. <laughs> that was a thick cloud. Um, we're here to talk about glasses. And, and anime titties. And it, cans. Cans. Anime cans. So the best thing about... I like this glass. As you can see, this is a very rare glass. This is a design. It's called the Shark Tooth. Yeah, it was first popularized in Austria. Austria, yes. Yeah. Uh, Hans von... Flugenstein. 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 Hans von Flugenstein, yes. He popularized this and really changed the game of artisan glasses. Really just beautiful. So it was actually work. bought by the royal family von Bismarck. Yes. And yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that was the first time these glasses were actually used, like in general. That's right. They were helping um, the public for many, many years, right? That was very true. You know, soldiers used to drink, drink out of these glasses and basically went into battle with them. So it became a national symbol. And, uh, symbol of nationalism, strength, pride. Just, it's beautiful. Very it's powerful. Beautiful. Powerful glass. Yeah, so connecting it to And now to titties, I drink Four loco out of it. So now, uh, college girls use these in order to make their breasts more augmented. Mm. Mm -hmm. They actually stick them in, heat them up, so the boob gets sucked in. Oh. And yeah, and that way it firms them up. Really? Yeah. So you can see what a trajectory this design has huh. um, throughout history. Wow. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. 10 out of 10. Haha, uh -huh. I'm calling the police right now, actually. Second hand vape, I think I have popcorn lung. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, we're not finger popping each other's assholes. Hey, I'm finger popping his asshole. Hey, what are you guys doing over there? Finger popping. We're just finger popping each other's assholes. Barbie, oh. mm -hmm. they are delicious. Oh, can't do that. What? Trademark. What? Do what? I said they are delicious. <laughs> they are delicious. How's that trademark? They're Oh, I mixed. I They're delicious. They are delicious. I've never heard that. No, I was mix, I was mixing up. They're great and magically delicious. Oh, so I can't. Vegan rocks. They're delicious. Oh. But you know, if we got a cease and desist by Kellogg's, I'd be happy. I'd be like, cool, sick, dude, sick.
Sufficient for 